Hello, this is Mark from Productive Computing. Thanks for joining us on this video. Today in this video, we are talking about a brand new announcement from Claris. We have something called the Claris Platform Bundle, which includes Claris Studio, Claris Connect, Claris Pro, Claris Go, and even Claris Server. All of those work together as a collective. This is the brand new offering from Claris. Now, this is something that has been in testing for several months now, but today, as of September 8th, is the official launch date of this product and these offerings. So it's an exciting day in that aspect because I've been working with the platform personally since 1991. And I know a lot of you have been working with the platform for several years as well. So this is an important milestone. Now, what makes this so important? Well, we have a new kit on the block called Claris Studio. And Claris Studio gives us developers something that we never had before, which is a cloud-based data repository, is my way of saying it, essentially a bucket of data in the cloud that's self-managed. It's managed by Claris. It's backed up by Claris. It's expanded by Claris. Everything that would normally go into building a database infrastructure, the back end, is all taken care of for us. Now, with this data, we can connect to it directly from Claris Pro, which is essentially FileMaker Pro. And that means we can make direct connections. We can use the connections to create relationships. We can move data back and forth. We can push and pull things. And that's just the beginning. We also have the capability with Claris Studio to use that data and create a web-based form, a form that someone can fill out, enter that information, and that information is stored in the bucket in the cloud called Claris, Claris Studio. And at that point, uh, you have a whole new way of storing stuff, a whole new way of capturing things, and you can even do it anonymously, which means that the person entering the data on the website doesn't have to have credentials to do it. So there's a lot of use cases for such a thing, such as collecting names on a mail list or creating surveys or collecting data from people in the field that don't otherwise have an account established, just anonymous users that you want to collect their information, but you don't want to have them go through a whole credentialing process in order to collect that data. And that's really just the tip of the iceberg. This particular offering keeps the platform relevant, in my opinion, because that's the way of the world. The world is going cloud. It already is there. That's the new normal. And we need to keep up to date with that. The platform needs to expand. So today's offering is very compelling and it's available now for sale. And uh, if you want to find out more about getting involved in this and perhaps even participating in purchasing this, you can email us at sales at productivecomputing.com. We can continue the conversation. Even if you're an existing Claris customer, obviously there's paths forward for you if you want to take advantage of this. So I thought we would take a moment to compare the differences between the Claris and FileMaker platforms. This document is available on the Claris website and I'll put a link below this video so that you can reference it. Let me walk you through it now so that I can explain it piece by piece. So on the left side, we have the Claris platform compared with the right side, which is the FileMaker platform, the traditional platform we have today. Our first product is Claris Pro, and this is essentially the same as FileMaker Pro. The differences are this Claris Pro product talks to the other products in the Claris platform. In fact, these work as a collective. They work together. They talk to each other. Claris Pro also requires a Claris ID in order to establish a connection. Upon install, you'll be asked for a Claris ID, which correlates with your Claris account for the Claris platform bundle. That will allow you access into the Claris Pro product. Then we have Claris Server, which lines up with FileMaker Server. However, this version is only available through Linux. Then we have Claris Go, which as of this video is coming soon, but that lines up with FileMaker Go. Claris WebDirect, Admin API, Data API, OData API, all lines up with FileMaker WebDirect, FileMaker Admin API, FileMaker Data API, and FileMaker OData API. The difference being these items talk to each other, whereas these items talk to each other distinctly. Then we have Claris Cloud, which is coming soon. That can act as your server for this information as well. And that lines up with FileMaker Cloud that we have today. Then two items unique to the Claris platform. We have the Claris Connect option, which is a way to connect different APIs from different systems with built-in connectors to make life easier. You can also do some automation with Claris Connect. Then we have Claris Studio. Claris Studio allows you to build online web forms, collect anonymous data, store that data, and have that data available to these other products here. Next, for authentication, 
On the Claris side, we will need a Claris ID, and that's the only way to get authenticated to any of the information here. On the FileMaker side, we have traditional FileMaker accounts. We have the Claris ID as well. We have external IDP accounts, OAuth accounts, and external server accounts. This is a real important one. I'll say it again. Supported platforms for FileMaker server or Claris server. Claris server is available on Linux only. FileMaker server is available for Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. Then we have a file format and extension consideration here. We have Claris Pro format, which ends with the extension .claris. On the FileMaker Pro 12 format, we have .fmp12 as the extension that we've been using for years. Then we have interoperability of clients and hosts. I've been saying this all along. Claris clients work only with Claris hosts. FileMaker clients work only with FileMaker hosts. That's perhaps the easiest way to distinguish these two columns. Using a license certificate or license key is not supported on Claris side. You'll sign into the software using your Claris ID account. License certificate or license key is supported on the FileMaker side. Accessing Claris Studio data source is supported, not supported on the FileMaker side. Sharing data as an ODBC JDBC data source is not supported on the Claris side. It is supported on the FileMaker side. Using a secondary machine with FileMaker server or Claris server, this allows you to expand WebDirect connectivity. It's not supported on the Claris side. It is supported on the FileMaker side using FileMaker server. Using peer-to-peer -peer sharing for testing with FileMaker Pro and Claris Pro. Well, you can still do peer-to-peer -peer sharing with Claris. However, you're limited to one desktop, one iOS, or one iPad OS device connected at the same time. On the FileMaker side, you get five devices connected at the same time. Again, this is really only for testing, but it is an important distinction. We have URL schemes. On the Claris side, we have Claris colon forward slash forward slash to get to your data. We have FMP colon forward slash forward slash on the FileMaker side. We also have these other options where we can specify the exact version in the URL, directing clients to the correct version when we call FileMaker client. Accounts script steps. That would be your ability to add an account, to delete an account, to change an account password, for example. That is not supported on the Claris side. It is supported on the FileMaker side. FM XDBC, FM Reauthenticate, FM PHP extended privileges are not supported on the Claris side. They are supported on the FileMaker side. Then we have custom web publishing with PHP, not at all supported on the Claris side, and it is deprecated on the FileMaker side. When it comes to working with PHP and websites, right now developers are using the Claris Data API as a conduit. So they can still use PHP code, but they use the data API as the data transmit mechanism. Okay, then we have snapshot link file. It is supported. It's called Claris Pro snapshot link format dot Claris link. On the FileMaker side, we have FileMaker Pro snapshot link format dot FMPSL. So that's your comparison between the two platforms. If I could sum this up in just a few words in one sentence, it would be that the Claris platform works as a family, as a collective that works together, talks to each other. The data is transmittable and transformable between those items. In addition, you get Claris Connect and Claris Studio with some limitations here on the way security is handled, some ODBC connectivity, as well as some other features, just not supported, perhaps coming down the road. On the FileMaker side, we have a well-built out, very robust platform, been around for a long time, but doesn't have Claire Studio data or connection into it. So to build an anonymous web form, for example, using the FileMaker platform, traditionally what people do is create a custom web page and use traditional web code to create their forms. That has become a lot easier using Claris Connect. So all of that is something that you can continue the conversation with us on if you'd like. Sales at ProductiveComputing.com is a way to do that. Now, don't forget, you can leave a comment below this video and we'll continue the conversation that way as well. As always, feel free to subscribe. Hang out here because we are going to doing, be doing a lot more talking about this. Also, we have a course in the works right now for Claris Studio, where you can learn all about Claris Studio and learn all the nuts and bolts of that. Keep in mind, this is changing rather quickly. Every couple of weeks, we might get new changes, new versions, new things to play with, with Claris Studio specifically. And that is going to be something we're going to have to be continuously chasing a moving target. But that's a good thing because we want to keep the platform relevant and innovative, and we want new features and functions so that we can build awesome software as developers. Thanks for joining me on this video, and we will talk to you on the next one.